I'm very pleased to be interviewing Bruce Gerlich, who is the Chief Research Officer for Rentrac. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Shirley. Nice to be here. Well, let's start with your background. How did you get to where you are today? Well, my background has primarily been on the agency side. I worked for about 20 years in the various permutations of Darcy Mish's Benton and Bowles Starcom Media Vest Group uh, as basically the North American uh, Research Director, uh, first at MediaVest and then at Zenith Optimedia. Uh, I had a little bit of time in there when I did uh, some consulting primarily with a software operation called Lake 5, but been pretty much on the media agency media research side. Uh, then an opportunity came up to uh, work with what I think is the company of the future, a rent track, and uh, a really exciting opportunity to work with somebody who uh, uh, I've known for a long time in the business and has a great vision, Bill Livick, who's our CEO. Um, and it's a really exciting time to be in the set-top box business and uh, with Rentrack, which has the unique uh, ability to be straddling uh, uh, two poles, as it were, a, a very large uh, historic business in theatrical uh, and DVD rentals and the future of set-top boxes. So it's exciting uh, time to be at that company. So, Bruce, you have extensive agency experience, so yes. you, you've sat on the other mm -hmm. side of, right. uh, of the currency issue. One of the challenges with set-top box data is really getting the agencies to consider it as a potential currency. What would you say the challenges are and the opportunities are, now that you're on the other side of the equation, to, to make this a reality? Well, uh, certainly the challenges are, uh, obviously the, uh, one of the biggest challenges is just inertia in the marketplace. But uh, I, I think that those agencies that are clever, uh, that are seeking to understand the change, the, that uh, granulation, granularization, as I was talking about, of what's happening in television, uh, are the ones that are really starting to leap on set-top boxes. And we actually have an, uh, an agency upfront package, and I believe that will be announced soon, uh, some agencies that are signing up for that. And I think there's really two key areas where agencies will be uh, using the data. The first, you might say the low-hanging fruit is the long tail, which is there are a lot of unmeasured networks that are out there uh, that set-top boxes can handle. And there's also uh, it's, it's the long tail in terms of numbers bouncing all over the place. As I said earlier, when you've got millions of set-top boxes, what you're able to do is have trendability. You're able to have stable data uh, so that the numbers will, in fact, hold. Uh, uh, and stability and trendability is incredibly important on the agency side for, for posting uh, because you, you want to be able to give your clients what you say uh, you're going to uh, give. I mean, there are, there are make goods, uh, and you can live in a world of make goods, but they're messy, and you would really prefer to, that the inventory deliver the way you thought it was supposed to deliver. So that's uh, one thing. And the second thing, which is, I think, even more exciting, uh, as I mentioned earlier, is the potential to bring in other data sets, is the potential to bring in things like Simmons, which, we're, which we have done now, which is live now on our local service uh, that we're rolling out in our national service, so that you can actually take a look at that product usage information uh, combined with our set-top box ratings, with other data services, with the client's own databases, so that you can match uh, at the household level using uh, being um, careful to uh, uh, be concerned about PII and to do the matching with a third party, uh, but that you can start producing ratings based upon product usage information, and that's what we're doing now, and that's the other currency that's incredibly exciting, and I think that's the potential uh, for agencies. Uh, that will be operating in a multiple currency world. There'll be times when you'll be using panel data um, to buy. There'll be times when you'll be using set-top box data uh, to measure and capture the long tail. And I think there'll be times when you'll be, you'll be using set-top box data uh, to uh, buy on a product usage or um, category usage basis. Uh, and uh, that's where I see set-top box data existing uh, at, at several levels uh, with multiple currencies. And that's what's exciting. And I think when you talk that way to agencies and, and be realistic with them and say you're not replacing everything and you understand that uh, what their needs are, uh, I think you can make some inroads and we're starting to do so that. So Bruce, uh, it's great news that uh, yep. agencies are now starting to look at set-top box data. Given your background and your experience, what would you say the timeline is for full majority adoption of set-top box data in some form as part of the measurement currency? I think that there will be a significant minority a plurality uh, uh, in terms of the major national advertising agencies by next upfront. I think I think that that's what will happen. 
A majority, it's, it's a little bit hard to say, but I think we're making a lot of traction in the marketplace. Uh, people will start using it uh, in the next couple months. Uh, we'll have our unified database coming out, uh, and pe then people will have some data to track with. And so I would say by um, next up front, we'll have a significant amount of agencies using the data um, as official, uh, official currency. You know, one of the challenges, I mm -hmm. think, is not being able to post on it. Is Rentrack doing any work in that area? Yeah, we have talked to the major uh, uh, companies such as Media Bank and DDS. Uh, we've had preliminary conversations with them, uh, <clears throat> and some are more advanced than others. And of course, that's all about. Uh, there's a little bit of a circle in this agency, uh, in, in this in this agency world, in that the agencies have to tell you um, you're authorized to post on this, and then you go, then you're able to uh, essentially use more of a stick and carrot with those uh, co folks. So we have had the conversations, um, and it's really quite frankly fairly easy to produce flat files. I mean, that's what that's all about. So that's not a problem for us to produce it. It's really um, making sure that the switch is turned on by the agencies.